you know, we have these three guaranteed games and we want to play as long as we can. So going into the league, we're, you know, we're excited to finish off on a good note and uh, head into the conference with some momentum. Well, momentum is key for the UH men's basketball team who hit the road today for the final time this regular season. Good evening. I'm MG Montemayor. Rainbow Warriors look to get back in the win column versus UC Davis. Oh, momentum is huge, and uh, I think we found a little bit over over the last four games. And um, going into these last two and into the tournament, that'll be big for us. Now it's the end of the season, and um, it's really do or die time. So we really want to focus on playing the, the correct way and giving us a shot each and every game that we come out um, down this last stretch. Bows are seven and seven, and are tied for fifth in the Big West. UC Davis is ten and four and sits in second place. Game on Thursday tips off at 5 p.m. Hawaii time. Rainbow Wahine hoops team also looked to regroup headed into the last homestand of the year. Ladies fell in heartbreaking fashion against Long Beach State last week. We know we can. We know that we absolutely have, have the talent and have the ability. We just have a tendency to beat ourselves at you know, the worst possible time. So at this point, yeah, I mean, it's, it's continuing to play. It's continuing to grow and get better, stay confident. I know we're confident coming off the road trip. And just like I said, and keep saying, momentum, momentum, momentum. Well, identical message from head hoops coach Laura Beeman today. Four and 10 Hawaii will try to fend off nine and six UC Santa Barbara on Thursday. Game tips off at 7 p.m. UH baseball team wrapping up its season opening homestand on Thursday. But first, guys back at practice to fine tune areas that need improvement. You know, Tuesdays in season are, are always about trying to um, just, just stay sharp. We'll work on, on our individual defensive work. We'll get a BP. But then Tuesdays are always a day where we'll have, you know, some of the pitchers that didn't pitch on the weekend, do a little live work with some of the hitters that didn't get, get very many at bats just to try to keep those guys sharp. So we'll just take a BP after defense and, and then do, uh, do about three innings of, of just kind of simulated live work. Rainbow Warriors off to a solid start. Last time they opened five and two or better was back in 2007. They'll take on Loyola Marymount in a four game series. First pitch is at 6.35 p.m. And after two weeks on the road, UH softball team back at home to host their first tournament of the season. Ladies went two of four last week, picking up wins against UNLV and Weber State. The six and six Rainbow Wahine look to improve their record against 15 and one Cal. Game is tomorrow at 7 p.m. It's also the grand unveiling of the newly renovated Rainbow Wahine Softball Stadium with full on pregame festivities and announcement, I guess, to see who everyone who contributed. They played on the game. They yeah. did, but you know how grand openings go, they go after. The first few are like kind of practice runs. Like a restaurant, it was yeah. soft opening. Yeah, soft, soft opening, opening. Yeah. see? You know how it is. Grand opening. It's a nice field, though. I guess it's, it's so beautiful. nice, you gotta have two grand openings. Yeah. You know, even the floors, they have um, non-slip floors and everything is brand new and it's safer for the players. It's gorgeous. Good, yeah. good for them. That H yeah. in, in the outfield is... I know, Stand it's out. nice. Yeah. Great stuff, thank you, MG. Yeah. Got another half hour of island news ahead. Now, despite controversy over a telescope on Mauna Kea, manufacturing